made it to Forbes. <laughs> Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Williams Fitness back again with another video. So we've got confirmed uh, people who've actually signed up for the Arnold Classic Australia and two of those people I want to touch on is Blessing Awodabu and Big Rami. Um, now, these two are top of the list and I'm just going to go straight into this video. Now, Blessing, you'll all probably know as the... Um, the funniest bodybuilder on Instagram. Now, I personally coined that phrase. I personally, um, I would say, blasted blessing off into the stratosphere of Instagram stardom, fame. Um, two years ago, I dropped a video um, which was entitled uh, The Funniest Bodybuilder on Instagram that got 32 million views. Everybody else who created a video on Blessing was after me. I don't give a fuck if it was Nick Strength and Power. Whoever the fuck it was all came after me. I've been friends with Blessing for nearly three years now. Uh, way back when he had like 12,000 followers on Instagram. We would chat pretty much daily. Um, yeah, uh, so I want to do cover Blessing and Big Rami for the simple fact that Blessing's just come on the scene uh, with the big dogs. Um, he's not on just, you know, like just fresh, some fresh face, little young gun that's just, you know, it's his first time on stage. He's got a phenomenal career already behind him. However, this is the first time Blessing is on stage with some of the biggest, if not the biggest, bodybuilders of our generation. So, I could have obviously put him next to, uh, say, Akeem, Victor, Steve Kuklo, and I thought, nah, it's got to be, it's got to be Big Rami, it's got to be Big Rami, just to show a comparison, because a lot of Instagram bodybuilding fans, because um, there's a lot of bodybuilders on Instagram that aren't pro, um, you know, that do the rounds, like your Bradley Martins, this kind of thing, and Blessing doesn't kind of fall into either category, he is a pro bodybuilder, he is also massive on the gram, he's very, very funny with the stuff he does, so I thought, well, I'll tell you what, let's put him against the biggest guy on stage, just to show people there is a massive difference between the two, and Blessing will contest to this himself, um, he's not long posted, that he's actually ecstatic. This is like a massive, massive thing. He will be on stage with the likes of Dexter Jackson, uh, Patrick Moore, Steve Kuklo, and a lot of other people um, who are confirmed for the Arnold Classic Australia. Um, I have got another story coming after this video. So I'm going to post two videos today. Um, so obviously, as soon as you've, you've watched this, go back to the homepage, click on the next one. So side by side, obviously, Blessing is a big dude. Um, and comparison with regards to like things like weight and things like that, obviously Blessing is in the open category, the same as Big Rami. Um, Blessing has got a very um, extensive career behind him. However, the comparison is epically different in regards that Blessing has got a lot, a lot of muscle, um, a lot more muscle maturity he needs to put on um, to even stand next to Big Rami and actually compete. And I'm not trying to disrespect Blessing at all. Um, everybody who knows me knows that I'm really, really good friends with Blessing. It's just that it's it's leagues different. It's literally leagues different. I actually had a, a very brief conversation with uh, Rami's manager about doing this video today. And he was like, Lee, you can't really compare the two. And I was like, I know, but that's the reason why I'm comparing the two. Because you can't. Uh, side by side, you shouldn't really be putting these two. So let's be honest, they're not exactly going to get called out in the top three or the top five and then stood next to each other for a pose down. It's not really going to happen. Maybe in a couple of years' time, and Blessing's obviously... Um, you know, worked his way up, put more size on, um, you know, muscle maturity, get them, get them lines better, etc. Um, then maybe, but that's partly why I wanted to do the video for the simple fact that they shouldn't be side by side and it goes against the grain and that's blessing through and through. Blessings does nothing but go against the grain when it comes to everything bodybuilding. Bodybuilders are supposed to be boring, eat food and most of them are boring as fuck. They just post the same shit, the same old photos day in, day out. Blessing isn't in that category. Blessing will go out of his way to make sure he's creating funny content. Obviously he's doing it to increase his fan base but he has his own brand. Who wouldn't do that? It makes sense. Um, and he's he's one of those grammars now where 
big names want to be on a ground on you know on a video with him on Instagram because of the the huge waves he makes in social media. Now, obviously, Big Ramy is the biggest pro bodybuilder we've got on our um, on our stages today, realistically, uh, with the big dogs. So, side by side, yeah, they shouldn't be, but they're going to be at some point. I can I can see in the next you know twelve, eighteen, you know twenty four months, these two are going to go up head to head at on some stage. Uh, whether it's you know it could be anything from the EVLS Prague to um, the Yamamoto Cup, whatever it's going to be, I can see these two actually having to have a pose down in the next couple of years, which is going to be pretty special to see. Now, obviously, these aren't going to be on stage together at the Arnold Classic Australia. Do you think, realistically, uh, Blessing's going to place um, top five? I mean, no, nothing against the guy. I can't see it. Um, when we obviously go back and look over who is actually competing and, got, and confirmed... You've got Steve Kuklo, uh, Steve Kuklo, Dexter Jackson, Joshua Lenartovic, Patrick Moore, Akeem, Fred Smalls, Josh Wade. I mean, for me, I'd I'd have Blessing just out of the lineup that's been confirmed. I'd have him seventh, maybe eighth, and that's being very generous. Um, and again, no dis- disrespect to Blessing. He's now gone from you know a Division One sort of style to a Premier League, so obviously he's got to step that up, but he's got there, and that's the main thing, he's going to be on that stage, so let's just wait and see, comment below, um, who do you, who have you got picked for the Arnold Classic, Australia to win, <coughs> and I have got a further update, a big, big news update on the Arnold Classic Ohio, who has just dropped out, and who has just stepped in, two very big names in the game, next video, on that note guys, I've been me, you and you, peace.